Praise the Lord. Maranatha Shalom. Jesus is coming soon. Happy midweek to everyone po. Happy Wednesday. Bago po tayo mag-start, knowing yung iba po ay nandito na po sa atin ang mga nanonood. And I know if you're excited right now na tayo po ay patuloy na sumambat makapakinig ng salita ng Diyos ngayong gabi, pwede po bang pakitay po natin sa ating comment section. Happy midweek. Sign po na tayo po ay handa ng magkuri, sumambas sa ating Panginoon at magkaroon itong gawain po natin ngayong gabi. Hallelujah. Sige po, let's just... Type to our comment section, happy midweek, habang ang iba po ay nagpapasukan na po ngayong gabi, isa pong malamig, maulan na gabi po sa batbuhay ng bawat isa. Again, happy midweek to everyone po. Let's type to our comment section this evening. Hallelujah. And I know that everybody is excited. Hallelujah. Lahat po tayo excited ng sambahin ng Panginoon at makapakinig ng salita ng ating Diyos. na buhay tonight. So ngayong gabi po, let us just come and worship the Lord as we enter in His presence. Sama-sama po tayo magpuli sa ating Panginoon ngayong gabi. And as we, we, we welcome the presence of the Holy Spirit as we welcome the presence of our God. Sige po, sama-sama po tayong sumamba ngayon. Yes, hallelujah, we worship you, we exalt you, Jesus. And this night, God, patuloy po kaming nagpupugay. Nagpupuri sa yung dakilang pangalan knowing that you are here with us, God. We worship you in spirit. We worship you in truth tonight, God. And let your name be exalted. Let Jesus be magnified sa kalagitnaan po namin ngayong gabi. Lord, salamat po for those people who expect from you. Those heart is believing you, God. Alam po namin may maganda kang gagawin sa aming mga buhay ngayong gabi, O Diyos. Salamat po, pinupuri ka namin. Iluluwa natin, sinasamba dahil sinasamahan mo na po ang bawat buhay ng bawat isa sa amin, sa pagsamba namin sa iyo, pakikinig ng iyong salita at sa lahat ng aming gagawin. Ngayong gabi pong ito, purihin ng iyong dakilang pangalan sa iyo ang lahat ng katagumpayan sa pangalan ng aming Panginoong Yesus. Amen and Amen and Amen and Amen. Hallelujah! Purihin po natin ang ating Panginoon sa gabi pong ito. I know that everybody is excited to worship the Lord tonight. But before we continue to honor and worship the Lord, let us read some verses in the Bible. I know some of you, you know this verse. Sabi po ng 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 24, Faithful is He who calls you and He will do every promises He has made to each one of us. Tapat ang Diyos, God is faithful na tumawag po sa ating mga bunga. Hindi niya tayo papabayaan, hindi niya tayo iiwan. Sapagat ang Diyos natin ay tapat. Hindi siya nagbabago noon ngayon at magpakailanman. He is a faithful God. Kaya sa pagsamba po natin at pagpupuri po natin, let us just be reminded how faithful, how great, how wonderful is the Lord sa buhay po natin. Sige po, as we worship the Lord, pwede po bang itype po natin sa comment section, I have a faithful God. Pwede po bang itype natin sa comment section, I have a faithful God. At sama-sama po tayong magpuri sa ating Panginoon ngayong gabi. Hallelujah! to Jesus You are faithful God You are faithful Jesus As we say give thanks to the Lord Give thanks to the Lord Our God and King His love endures forever For He is good is above all things His love endures forever Sing praise Sing praise With a mighty hand and outstretched arms His love endures forever For the life that's been reborn His love endures forever Sing praise Sing praise Sing praise Sing praise Sing praise Forever God is faithful Forever God is strong God is with us forever forever God is faithful 
Alam ko pong nagiinit pa lang po ang bawat buhay ng bawat isa sa atin. At nawa, pinapawisan din kayo tulad ko sa ating pagsamba. No, tonight, sige po, patuloy po tayong magpainit sa malamig na gabi as we continue to sing the language of heaven. Let's go! Hallelujah! 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 Forever! Hallelujah! 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 Forever! Let's say forever! Forever God is faithful. Forever God is strong. Forever God is with us. Forever with our hearts we say God. Forever God is faithful. Forever God is strong. Forever God is with us Forever Last time you say Forever God is faithful Forever God is strong Forever God is with us Forever God, faithful God that we serve, Jesus, hallelujah, we thank you, we thank you, Lord, Lord, you are a faithful God whom we serve, and tonight, we just want to come with a grateful hearts to you, to you, Jesus, and to your throne, God. Lord, sabi po ng 1 Corinthians 15:58. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Tonight, church, sa gabi pong ito, let us continue to remember what Jesus Christ has done in the cross of Calvary. Sa mga ganito pong pagkakataon, Nawa po, patuloy po nating maalala ang ginawa ng ating Panginoong Jesus sa ating mga buhay to the cross of Calvary. Jesus Christ redeems us. Through the cross of Calvary, He redeems us from all our iniquities and sins. Jesus Christ rescues rescue us from all shame and guilt na meron po tayo. And the Lord Jesus Christ heal us in every sicknesses, every wounds na meron po tayong lahat. Kaya sa gabi pong ito as we worship Him, God is faithful that He never changed. He's still doing what He has done to each one of us. He did not wait for me to draw near to you but you clothe yourself in frail humanity you did not wait for me to cry out to you but you let me hear your voice calling me Cause I'm forever grateful to you And I'm forever grateful for the cross And I'm forever grateful to you That you came to seek and save the Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus. We want to thank you, Lord. You did not wait. 
wait for me to draw near to you. But you clothe yourself in frail humanity. You did not wait for me to cry out to you. But you let me hear your voice calling me. Cause I'm forever grateful to you, Jesus. And I'm forever grateful for the cross. I'm forever grateful to you that you came to seek and save the lost. Cause I'm Your name, Jesus. 
exalt, exalt, lift up on high the name of Jesus. Magnify, come glorify Christ Jesus the King. Jesus who died, now glorified, King of all kings, majesty, majesty, we worship your majesty. Jesus who died, now glorified, King of all kings. Want to worship you, O oh God, majesty. We worship your majesty. For Jesus who died, now glorify. Jesus who died, now glorify. Jesus who died, now glorify. Jesus who died. Christ, full of majesty, full of glory, is the King of kings. Yeah. King of all kings. He's the King of all kings. Oh God, we worship your majesty. Worship, we adore, we honor you. Come that a yando, set it up, set it up. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, come to the boss, set King of Majesty, King of Glory. presence is in this place oh king of glory king of glory your presence lord more than enough your presence is enough oh Spirit, Holy Spirit of God, we respect and honor you tonight, Lord, oh, King of glory, full of majesty, you are beautiful, you are wonderful, amazing God. Jesus, Jesus, Lord, if we could just touch your robe tonight, 
Oh, if we could just start your own, then we are fools. We have the fullness, we have the fullness of your grace. Oh my God, just want to worship you, Lord Jesus. Your grace is enough, Lord. Your grace is enough for me. Love is better than life. Oh, my God. Miracles after miracles. You are beautiful beyond description. So, terrible, say, baby, say, Yes, God. I sense the Lord tonight, church. Just respect and honor Him. Even this is virtual, I can sense the presence of God, His fullness of His glory, the fullness of His love towards each one of us tonight. I can really sense. As we worship and declare His Majesty, marami nang hinihipon ng Panginoon. I could really sense that the glory of God is moving in your life. Some of you, you are healed. Some of you, you are filled by the Spirit of the Living God. Some of you, you cannot understand what you're feeling, but I believe that's the move of the Holy Spirit. Something in you, something within you, ang lagi is teared up, and I know that's the move of the Holy Spirit as we worship Him tonight. Because His love is better than life. His glory abounds to us. His glory abounds to us. He covers us by His love As the waters cover the sea So His love, so His grace upon us Oh, all about you, Jesus All about you, my Lord Receive, receive, just receive the Spirit tonight Receive the fullness of His glory tonight, church. Oh, you are worthy, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Majesty. We worship. His majesty, my Jesus, to die, now glorified, is the King of all kings, Holy Spirit, majesty. His majesty For Jesus who died glorified He's the King of We thank you, Lord Jesus. Panginoon, maraming maraming salamat po sa presensya mo sa gabing ito. Thank you for such glory that we are experiencing right now as we worship you. The majestic presence of you, Jesus Christ. Lord, walang sino man ang pwedeng magtanggi sa gabing ito that you are in our midst. You are in every places as we could really sense you as we worship and honor you tonight, God. 
Panginoon, sa patuloy po namin na pakikinig ng iyong salita. Piling po namin banal na Espiritu, ikaw ang patuloy na gumawa, patuloy na kumilos, patuloy na hipuin ang aming mga puso at aming pagkatao at buong pagkatao o Diyos. Salamat dahil alam po namin, ikaw na ang Diyos na tagumpay sa aming mga buhay. Would you respect God? And with full love, with all pledge that we have, pledge of love towards you, we bring back to you the highest worship, glory, dominion, authority, and kingdom that belongs to your holy name. This is all we pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, and that the church says, Amen, and Amen, and Amen, and Amen. Praise the Lord. Glory to the name of the Lord Jesus Christ ngayong gabi po. At ngayong gabi po, if you are ready to hear the word of God, I know that you are blessed through our worship tonight. If you are blessed in our worship and you're ready to hear the word of the Lord this night, pwede po bang pakitype po natin sa comment section po natin. Let us type the name of Jesus tonight sa ating comment section. All cups lock, let us type the name of Jesus. Seeing that you are all ready to hear the word of the Lord sa ating pong kalagitnaan ngayong gabi. Sige po, let us type or comment the name of Jesus, all caps lock, okay, knowing that you are all ready to hear the word of the Lord tonight. So tonight, ang topic po natin, if you are always here po sa ating uh, midweek service, worship midweek service po natin tuwing Wednesday, from the start of September, lahat po ito magkakarugtong, okay, from the Lord, how the Lord shows a great man of God, kung paano po siya pumipili, kung ano yung nakikita niya, yung prerequisite for him to pick up a handpick, a great man of the living God. And last week po, pinag-usapan natin is about how the Lord, the strategic way, how the Lord develops a great man of the living God. So tonight, makikita po natin, through that develop, kasi po ito'y kasunod po ng ating teaching last week, na po, how the Lord develops, meron po siyang way, nakita po natin yan, and throughout all those ways, meron pa po siyang mga bagay, meron siyang mga tests, okay, na gagawin so that we are able to become a great man of God, to be a great force in this world. That's why tonight, ang topic po natin is pure as gold, the test of the man of God. Again, this will be our topic for tonight, pure as gold, the test of the men of God. Last time, we talked about yung strategic way ng Lord, kung paano saan yung mga ways ng Panginoon ginagawa. Now, we can see, no, kung parang inilalagay tayo sa, sa telescope, eh, no, sa microscopic, yung mga mis- microscopic move of the living God, from that strategic way, He's going to test us so that we will come forth as gold no, po, bilang mga lingkod ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. That's why, Po, I believe that God is allowing all these things for us to be as gold, as pure as gold as He wants us to be. Para po tayo maging force in this world, we need to be pure as gold before the Lord. That's why, let us see the test of the men of God na, po, na binibigay o inaalaw ng Diyos ating mga buhay so that we are able to come forth as gold in the eyes of the living God. Kasi that's the truth po, in this life, we have tests. Na po. Kaya, pansinin niyo po, see this, na po, because, before I deliver the word of the living God, because we believe, bago kasi tayo i-promote ng Panginoon, when God promotes us, when God wants us to be promoted, take note of this, as a great man of the living God, there will always be a test that needs to pass. Para rin po itong sa eskwelahan, kung gusto nating pumanik sa another level of our grades, we have to pass the test. All of those things na napag-aaralan po natin, there is always a test. May assessment kung meron po ba tayong natutunan. Same thing in our spiritual life. Before the Lord, before God will, no, before God will promote us as a great man of the living God, there will be a test that we need to pass. Kaya see this, guys, church, this is my reminder to every one of us. Don't test yourself. Kasi wala naman po tayong nakita sa eskwelahan kasi I have heard a lot of those people, young people in our church or even in outside the church, they test themselves. No? Yung tipong nakalaya na sa mga kainaan na, hindi, kuya, ano eh, malaya na ako eh. Yung kay, for example, ang kainaan ay 
ay paglalaro ng Mobile Legend. Hindi ko ya pinalaya na ako ng Panginoon sa Mobile Legend. Kaya mga isang oras, isang oras na lang para makita ko na tayo. <laughs> Yan po, see? See the moving? <laughs> Wait lang po. Okay. Let us pause for a moment because we're live. And alam nyo naman po. Okay, wait lang po. <laughs> We're really live tonight po. Okay. At alam nyo po kung bakit ganito po every Sunday, Wednesday. Kasi syempre po meron po akong security guard eh. Na po maliban sa aking guardian angel, meron po akong security guard ditong dalawa. Na wherever, wherever kung saan man po ako pumunta, nandun sila. <laughs> Kaya magtawanan lang po tayo. Pwede po bang... Before I continue to deliver anything else, pwede po bang itype natin, Hi, Caleb! <laughs> itype po natin sa comment section, Hi, Caleb! Na po, alam niyo na po kung sino yung kadaylanan niyan. <laughs> okay, okay, let's see that. Sige po, everybody please, okay, para i-acknowledge po natin siya. <laughs> Talaga nagpaparandam po siya every Wednesday, kaya may galaw po ng camera. Come on, type po natin sa comment section if you're still there po. Hi, Caleb. Kasi si Caleb po yan. But anyway, kagaya po ng sinabi ko po kanina, let's go back as I saw your, your comment right now. Hi, Caleb. Po, sabi ko po kanina, Sam, yung iba tinitest nila yung sarili, sabi nila, malaya na sila dun sa paglalaro ng Mobile Legend, kaya minsan pag naglalaro, palipas oras na lang. Please, guys, again, I want you to be reminded in every weaknesses, everything na meron po tayo, please don't test yourself. Kasi wala naman po tayong nakita sa loob ng eskwelahan na pag magtitest ka or final exam, yung estudyante mismo ang magbibigay ng exam para sa kanya. Hello? Andiyan po ba kayo? Wala pong ganon. Why? Because when we, we want to level up, we want to, to graduate, Doon sa level na meron po tayo, it is our teacher, it is our professor will give us the test so that they can assess kung tayo po ba ay pwede nang mag-level up o mag-upgrade. Same thing in our spiritual life, same thing in our spiritual journey. Let God test us so that He can assess us na gusto niya na tayong when, when, when He wants us to be promoted, then let God Test us. Let God, yung Panginoon ang mag-test po sa atin, i-allow natin yung test ng Diyos sa bawat buhay po ng bawat isa sa atin. Kaya ngayong gabi, po, this will be our topic tonight, knowing how the Lord handpick each one of us, seeing kung papaano yung strategic way ng ating Panginoon, and para mas lalo nating maintindihan at maunawaan kung nasa saan na po ang ating paglilingkod. Because all of us right now, to everyone who are watching right now, I'm not telling that I'm, I'm perfect na at nandun na po ako sa pinakapik ng tawag ko. I'm not saying that. Because all of us, there is a greater person inside of us. And the Lord really wants na malabas po yan, magising po sa atin yan, so that we are able to become a force in this world. And as we understand His world, Word, I mean, as we understand the truth of the Lord sa buhay po natin, the more we become pure as gold in the eyes of God. So let's go. Po, let's go. Let's understand First, First Corinthians chapter 3, verse 13 says, sabi don, Each one's work will become clear, for the day will declare it because it will be revealed by fire, and the fire will test each one's work of what sort is what sort it is. So, ibig sabihin, meron po talagang test. Fire will come even to the things na gagawin po natin sa mundong ibabaw. Everything will be tested. And through the fire of the Lord, every works that we have will be revealed for the glory of the living God. Job 23 verse 10, it says, ang sabi doon, But he knows the way that I take. When he has tested me, I shall come forth as gold. Praise the Lord. And I pray that the Lord will continue to bless each one of us through the words. I believe the word of God has already blessed us, and I pray that it will move and touch each one of us tonight. So let's understand. So if you're going to see it po, na po through these verses and through the things na meron po tayo, God, take note of this, church, God is far concerned, or the Lord's priority to us is to shape and build our character 
over the reasons of human boasting. Take note of this, church. The Lord's priority in our lives is to shape and build our characters over the reason of human boasting. Okay? Kaya minsan inaalaw ng Diyos na matest po tayo. If there are times we come to those tests in our lives, bakit po? Kasi ang Diyos, higit na nais niya at prioritize niya sa buhay po natin, priority niya sa buhay po natin ay hubugin tayo, i-build po tayo sa karakter na gusto niya, higit doon sa mga rason para tayo po ay magmalaki, magmayabang. Hello? Kaya God really allows those tests. And when there will be promotions, there will be testing to come. So that hindi po tayo makakapagmalaki, hindi po tayo mananahan sa ating sariling kakayanan. Because we believe throughout all this service that we have and throughout this life, it is always about the Lord Jesus Christ in us. Ang istorya pong ito ay hindi na istorya ng buhay natin kung hindi istorya ng Panginoong Heso Kristo sa buhay po nating lahat. And for us to be helped, para po matulungan tayo na maunawaan natin, I pray matapos ko po ito, pero I assure you, mal- malabang po may part to po ito next week. But anyway, para matulungan po tayo dito sa istorya o dito sa, 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 sa talata po ito o sa, sa, sa nais ng Diyos na iparating po sa buhay natin, let us understand and see the life of Joseph, okay? Kung papaano yung Panginoon, store great things in him, deposited a great things in him, a dream before Joseph, but para ma-fulfill yun, there's such a test na nangyari po sa buhay ni Joseph. And we can parallel it to our ministry and even to the life of Kuya po. Ito yung mga natutunan ko po in this life. Alam nyo nung binabasa ko ulit po itong talatang ito, I was crying kasi ang tindi po talaga, ang tindi, ang tindi. Pag binasa mo siya ulit, Ang tindi, it really moves my spirit. It really moved my spirit dito po. And I pray that it will also move your spirit tonight. And I pray, mamayang gabi po, o pagkatapos po ng service na ito, please read Genesis chapter 37 up to chapter 41. Kasi dito ko po kukunin yung bawat puntos na matututunan po natin sa buhay ni Joseph na po kung papaano, he passed the test, all those tests na napagdadaanan po nating lahat to become a great man of God. For the Lord to be fulfilled this promise to each one of us, there are tests that we need to pass, there are tests na kailangan po natin na pagdaanan, kailangan nating harapin. And Joseph, okay, si Joseph po, and even the great man of God in the Bible is not exempted, there's no exemption, okay? There's no exemption in the test of the living God. People who exempt themselves to the test of the Lord, people who don't pass to the test, o hindi doon nag-take ng test ng Panginoon, they never level up or upgrade, develop their spiritual life. Yun yung nakakalungkot. Kaya, papansin ninyo, wag po tayo magtataka kung bakit sa loob ng church, minsan marami ng matatagal, ganun pa rin yung buhay nila. Hello? Hello, walang spiritual development, walang spiritual uh, 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 tawag dito, spiritual progress na nangyayari sa kanila. No, why? Because they don't want to pass the test, they don't want to take the test na po na ipinaan na allow ng Diyos sa buhay natin. But us, for those people who are hearing me right now, for those people who hears me tonight, who hears the word of the Lord tonight, na po, please let's go together, pass this test face this test so that God will continue to fulfill His promise to each one of us. You are destined for a great things. Come on church, again, you are destined for great things. Pwede po bang type po natin sa comment section po natin, we are destined for great things. Okay? Let's see the light. This is the story of Joseph. In chapter 37, Genesis chapter 37 verse 13, this is the test, okay, na una pong, Tinate ni Joseph, the first test that Joseph, okay, na pinagdaanan po niya when he received, when God gave him the, 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 the dreams, the first test that I saw, okay, Genesis 37 verse 13 is the test of service. Okay, the test of service. Okay, 
Genesis 37 verse 13 says, sabi doon, And Israel said to Joseph, ito yung tatay niya, si Jacob, Israel said to Joseph, Are you not brothers feeding the flock in Shechem? Come, I will send you to them. So he said to him, Here I am. Okay? So sa pagkakataon pong ito, sa verse 13, si Joseph po ay inuutusan ng kanyang tatay para magbigay, mag-feed doon sa kanyang mga brothers. Okay? To feed his brothers. So yan. Again, the first service that Joseph takes is the service, I mean the test of service. Okay? First, God wants us to seek. If you're going to see it, kailangan po maglingkod muna po tayo. Dapat pasahan natin ang paglilingkod. Maglingkod tayo. We need to become a servant of the Lord. If we want to become a force, we need to be a servant. God wants us to see okay, that we can be trusted in service before we are to lead. Litin ko po ito. Napakalitindi po nito. Okay? First, God wants us to see, okay, to be trusted in our service, okay, before we are to lead. Bago ka mag-desire na maging taga-panguna, you have to be a servant. Hello, are you there, church? And Joseph, take that test in verse 13. Pinutusan siya ng tatay niya, obeying his father's request and command, okay? So makikita niyo doon, even though, Joseph knows that there is a greatness within him, but yet he obey his father's requests and commandments. Marami po sa loob, sa atin, no, maraming mga Kristiyano minsan, when they know the, 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 the greatness in them, kapag ka na, na, na lay hands, na po, at lagi napapansin, no, ang bilis lumaki ng ulo. But again, if you really want to become a force in this world, if you really want to become a great man of the living God, need to pass the test of service because our service is the gateway for our greatness. For the greatness to be fulfilled, you need to serve first because God looks and anoint the servant. Take note, God looks to anoint the servant. God never looks for an artista para 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 i i i, i anoint. Hello. God never looks para sa mga uh, madadrama o sa mga king sa mga mga divas. Hello. Marami kasi sa loob ng church mga artistahin. Hello. Po marami sa loob ng church diva. Hello. But God looks to anoint the servant. Again, God never fulfill His promise to each one of us para sa sarili po natin. No, it's not. God is fulfilling every promise sa buhay po natin. Bakit? Kasi He wants to elevate His words. Take note of that, church. Bakit na pangyayari yung mga, mga pangako ng Diyos sa buhay natin? Bakit na fulfill yung mga pangako, yung mga prophecy, yung mga words na narinig po natin sa buhay natin? It is all because the Lord wants to elevate His Word. Patunayan na yung salita niya totoo. At sa mga pagkakataon pong yon, the best response that we could ever have in our lives is to serve God and to serve people of the Lord. Because God looks for a man who is looking... I mean, God looks for a man who is serving in the ministry, serving in their everyday life, and others around them through love and compassion. Hello, are you there, church? Ang Panginoon, hinahanap niya for us to become a great man of the living God are those people, are those men who are serving in the ministry, yung totoong naglilingkod. Hello? Hindi yung naglilingkod kapag gusto lang nila. Yan yung nakakalungkot. Meron mga baguhan o mga matatagal na namimili kung ano yung, pag, yung pag, paglilingkuran nila. Pag hindi nila gusto, hindi nila trip, pagka sinabing, okay, sige, ganto maglingkod kang ganto Hello? magpray ka, ikaw magpray Ayaw! Hello? They don't want to obey. Are you there, church? Pero kung ano lang yung gusto nila, again, service to the Lord is not optional. 
though we have a specific gift, we have a specific call, but before we come to the fulfillment of that specific call, we need to be a servant of all. As Matthew chapter 20, verse 26, it says, Ang sabi doon, but among you it will be different. Whoever wants to be a leader among you, you must be a servant. If you want to become a great force in this world, if you want to become a great man of the living God in this world, be a servant of all. You must be a servant of the Lord. Hello, are you there, church? Because true greatness comes in the form of service. Hello, are you there, church? True greatness comes in the form of service. Though Joseph knows that there is a greatness within him, he still obey his father and do his everyday practicals. Ulitin ko po let. Kahit alam na ni Joseph na merong greatness sa kanya, pero yet, Every day, no po, ginagawa pa rin niya kung ano yung dapat niyang gawin. He become a servant. And that's what I learned. Ito po yung pinaka masaya. Kagaya na sinabi ko last Sunday, I don't want na ma-impure yung puso po natin as, as a servant of God. Ayoko maging impure yung puso ko po. I want my heart to become pure. I'm here to serve God and to serve the people as much as I can. Hanggat kaya po natin na maglingkod, saan man po tayo ilagay. Pagka sinabing uh, mag, magpastor, magpreach ng gospel, yes, I can do it. With enthusiasm, love, and passion that I have to the Lord, I will do it. Pagka sinabing maglinis ng church, Yes, still the same intensity, the same love that I give to preaching is the same intensity that I'm going to do doon sa paglilinis. Are, are you there, church? Dapat ganun po tayo. Walang pinipili. When we serve the Lord, dapat we are always serving Him truthfully because true greatness comes in the form, okay? True greatness comes in the form of service. Our true service will never be waste of time. Yun yung pinakamasaya po dito. True service, if we pass this test, our true service will never be a waste of time because God always notice our service to Him. Kapag totoo ang paglilingkod mo, kapatid, hindi nasasayang ang ginagawa mo sa Panginoon sapagkat ito ay nanonotice ng Diyos. Yes, you cannot be noticed by people. You cannot be noticed by people's authority or yung authority na meron na ibinigay ang Diyos sa atin. Maaring hindi tayo napapansin pero maniwala ka, church. Come on, guys. Believe it. When you serve the Lord, when you are serving truthfully to the Lord, when you are doing everything for God, hindi ito kawalan. This is not a waste of time because the Lord notice your service to Him. Hello? Nakikita at napapansin yon ng Panginoon. No? In my part, siguro po, one thing that I could really share to you this, na po, di man tayo mapansin ng tao, basta pag naglingkod ka, ang pinakamasaya po nito, you become a better version of you. And the way you become a better version of you, naniniwala po ako, you become a great blessing to others. Hello? Sometimes you don't need to speak. Your words, your action, your service to God will become a great impact and a great, hello, example to the people of the living God. Because of being, being, uh, uh, being good version of you, a better version of you. Dahil sa paglilingkod po natin sa Panginoon. No one will notice us, pero every day when you serve the Lord, kahit sa mga maliliit na bagay, yung mga simpleng paglilingkod, pero totoo ka sa Panginoon, you become a better version of you. That's why as a church, God really wants us and He's allowing us to pass this test of service. I know some of us, I could really say this right now, you are in this test right now. Na naglilingkod ka naman talaga, and there are times you feel feel exhausted, you feel tired sa paglilingkod, kala mo nawawalan ng kabuluhan ang mga pinagagawa mo. Kapatid, I can really sense the Holy Spirit is touching your shoulder and is saying to you, keep it up because your service is not a waste of time. Hello, are you there, church? Ang paglilingkod mo ay hindi nawawalan. I can really sense the Spirit right now. Some of you, you are in the test of service. 
para ka na nawawalan ng gani, para namang walang nangyayari ito, parang ganito ang nangyayari sa buhay ko. No, 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 no. Believe me, something is happening to you. Di mo napapansin, you are a better version of you. Hello, that's the move of God. It's moving you. You are in the path of the fulfillment of your destiny. Come, just serve the Lord. Continue to serve the Lord. Keep it up, guys. Keep it up. Cheer up because the Lord is with you. Again, pass this service. Joseph, even though he has this greatness in him, he has this 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 uh, greatness na in store sa buhay po niya, but yet he still obey the commandments of his father and the request of his father. He's passing the test of service. Are you there, church? Pwede po bang pakitay po natin sa comment section? Test of service. Para knowing that you understand the test of service. Pwede po bang pakitype natin sa comment section, test of service. Pangalawa po, Genesis 37, same chapter, but different verse. Genesis 37, verse 28. Okay, Genesis chapter 37, verse 28. Alright. Basahin po natin yung Genesis 37, verse 28. When Midianite traders passed by, his brothers pulled Joseph out of the pit and sold him for 20 pieces. I'm, I'm sorry. Okay po. Number two pa lang po tayo. Number three yung binabasa ko. I'm wrong. Okay. Genesis chapter 37 verse 23 to 24. Okay. Okay. So nauna po kasi number three ko. <laughs> okay. But anyway, number two po muna tayo. Genesis chapter 37. Sige po. 37 verse 23 to 24. Okay, again, ulitin ko po ulit, to be clear, Genesis 37 verse 23 to 24. 37 verse 23 to 24. The second test po, okay, yung kanina pong verse is a verse po ng third, third point. Pero second point po tayo, the test of hiddenness. Okay, the test of hiddenness, you will see it in Genesis chapter 37 verse 23 to 24. And it says, Sabi don, when Joseph came to his brother, ito na po nung inutusan siya, his testing, 23, it says, when Joseph came to his brother, they stripped of his robe, the robe of many colors that he had on. They took him and threw him into the pit. The pit was empty. There was no water in it. So, nung nakita ng mga kapatid ni Joseph, si Joseph, na po, dahil ito pinaplat na po ng mga kapatid, Napatayin si Joseph. Remember, Joseph shared his dream, his great dreams sa kanyang mga kapatid at kanyang tatay. Hello, are you there, church? That's why there was a greatness in him, pero hindi ito tanggap ng mga kapatid niya. Kaya nung nakita po si Joseph, they plot to kill Joseph. Pero hindi kagad pinatay si Joseph. In this verse, he was thrown to a pit. Makikita po natin, he was thrown to a pit. That's why this is a test of hiddenness. The, is, the, the pit is empty. There was no water him. Take note of this. Before promotion will happen, there will be a season of hiddenness. Okay? Take note of that. Before promotions happens, there will be a season of hiddenness. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1, it says, To everything there is a season, a time in, for every purpose under heaven. Okay, take note. Itong hiddenness na ito, ito yung pinakamasaya. I want you to learn this. I really love this season. I really love this test. Sobrang love ko po itong test na ito, the test of hiddenness. Dahil mamaya, papaliwanag ko po sa inyo. Okay? At first, na po, take note of this. At first, God hide us to protect us. Ang Diyos, through that, akala po natin, Akala natin tinatapon, tinapon tayo sa kadiliman. Kala natin ito'y katapusan na. No. God, at first, God will hide us. And because of He hide us, He wants us to be protected. Hello? Take note of that. So it means, it doesn't necessarily, we are now, I mean, again, it means, we are now, it doesn't means, I mean, it doesn't necessarily, necessarily means that we, it is the determination of our destiny. Ulitin ko pulit, we are now, kung nasan man tayo ngayon, we, where we are now, I mean, where we are now, it doesn't necessarily determine our destiny. Take note of that. 
Because first, God wants us to be, to hide and to be protected. Hindi ibig sabihin kung nasan tayo ngayon, ano man ang lugar natin, kinakatayuan po natin ngayon, yun na yung magsasabi ng destiny natin. No, it's not. Because at first, God really wants us to be hide. God really wants us to be protected sa lahat na mangyayari sa atin. Take note of this. Even people who are against us will stop us. Take note of that. In this season, na po, may mga tao talaga na ayaw kang mag-upgrade. <laughs> ayaw kang ma-promote. That's the reality. Okay? That's the reality of life. Hindi lang po sa mundong ibabaw, but even in the Christian world or in the body of Christ. People who are against you will stop you. But take note of this. Even their actions are part of God's plan to fulfill His promise. Hello? Yung mga taong akala, yung mga taong against sa atin, yung mga taong pinipigilan tayo, take note of that. Inaalaw ng just minsan yon. Bakit? Kasi all of those things are parts of God's plan para mapulfill yung pangako niya sa buhay po natin. Take note! Okay? Dito po sa season na ito, sabi doon, yung pit madilim, there's no water in it. Okay? There is an empty thing madilim dito because we are hidden. This is full of darkness. Ito yung season pong ito. Okay? Itong hiddenness na ito. In this season, we are really burdened, burned out, tired. Bakit? Kasi sa mga pagkakataon pong ito, ang gusto ng Diyos, wala tayong ibang aasahan kung hindi ang ating Panginoon. I really love this season. You know why, guys? Because kung ikaw ay nandito sa season ito, I've been here. Okay? I was here. Okay? Nandito po ako sa mga moment, may mga... I, 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 I passed through this test. Pinagdaanan ko rin po itong test na ito. Na yung feels mo, para kang... You, 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 you are hidden. Hello? Yung tipong... Parang kaya ko namang gawin eh. Yung tipong, I have the gifts. You have this. You have everything. You have God. Yung you think that you can do anything and everything. Pero hindi nangyayari. It is all because God first really wants you to be high and to be protected from the enemies and from the people which who's against you. But take note of this. This is what I really love in this moment. Sa nga moment pong ito, this is what we can learn in this. Take note of this. Roots. Ugat. Take note. Ang mga ugat po, may nakita po ba kayong ugat na lumago, kumapit ng husto? I could really sense the Holy Spirit. I could really sense the Holy Spirit. Some are touched by the Lord right now by the Word of God. See? May nakita po ba kayong ugat, roots, na dun sa ibabaw ng lupa, dun sila tumubo ng husto at lumago? Lalo tigit yung mga malalaking puno. No! Walang ugat na makikita nyo na kitang-kita na labas na labas. But every roots, strong roots, yung mga roots ng mga puno na talagang nakakapit, sampu sila lumalago doon sa madilim na lugar, doon sa nakatagong lugar, below the ground in the pit. And in this moment, guys, when you feel that you are hidden, it's time for you na yung roots po natin, na mas lalong lumago sa Panginoon, this is the moment that we will grow unto the Lord. This is the moment na kakapit tayo. Bakit? Kasi habang tumataba, habang lumalaki ang ugat, habang lumalalim ang ugat sa ilalim ng lupa, the more na kumakapit ito. And the more na malaki, matatag ang ugat, the more na mas matindi ang kapit ng ugat, anumang bagyo, anuman ang gawin dun sa nakatayong puno, then I'll tell you, hindi ito magagalaw. Bakit? Because the root tells kung gaano kalaki ang magiging puno mo. The roots will tell kung gaano tatagal yung puno natin, kung gaano magtatagal yung puno natin. The roots will tell kung paano mamumunga, kung gaano kalaki yung measure na magiging puno natin. That's why, guys, when you are hidden, when you feel that you are hidden today, 
feels, napakaramdam mo, kaya ko naman to, ganto ganto pero hindi nangyayari. It's time for you to grow in the Lord. It's time for you na kumapit ng gusto sa ating Panginoon. And when the moment, the Lord will gonna expose you. Because that's the moment. Yan po ang paglilingkod dati sa Panginoon. Merong hiddenness and merong exposure. And when the Lord expose you, I'll tell you, hindi tayo kayang dalin ng gawa ng kaaway. Hindi tayo kayang dalin ng gawa ng tao. Hindi tayo kayang madala even ng sarili nating mga gawa at kakayanan. Bakit? Kapag, sapagkat ang ating ugat ay talagang umugat ng husto at kumapit ng husto sa ating Diyos na buhay. And when you are in the hiddenness, I declare today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that you will continue to seek for more of the Holy Spirit. You will continue to seek more of His Word. You will continue to seek more of the presence of the living God. And as you seek Him, the Lord, will continue to increase the anointing and the promotion and the fulfillment of this word unto you guys. And may the Lord bless you in the season and the test of hiddenness in our lives. Take note, in this season, our motives will be tested. In this season, our motives will be tested. If we can serve the Lord in hiddenness, wala nakakakita sa atin, kahit pakiramdam na natin, ay kaya naman natin, na po, then we can serve Him in influence. If we can serve Him in hiddenness, church, then we can serve God in influence. That's why in this season, our motive will be tested. Come on, church. Kaya sa dalangin ko po, napatuloy, and yung motibo po natin ay patuloy na maging puro sa paglilingkod sa ating Panginoon because God is bringing us in another dimension of influence for the glory of the living God. Pwede po bang itay po natin sa comment section, test up hiddenness. Hello, either church, kindly type po to our comment section, test up hiddenness. Kaya wag pong magmadali, guys, church. I know some of you, every one of us has a greatness inside of us. Wag magmadali. God is at work upon each one of us. God knows the perfect timing. God knows exactly kung kailan tayo i-expose ng Panginoon. And when the Lord expose us, I pray that we really learn so much in Him sa moment po ng time of hiddenness or the test of hiddenness. Pwede po bang type natin sa comment section, test of hiddenness. Then the last thing, okay, last po ngayong gabi because it's a time. <laughs> Okay? Okay, the third one. Okay, I'll try to finish this po, pero I think kasi ang haba po nito, medyo pito po ito eh. Okay? The third one is the test of discouragement. Take note, after the test of hiddenness, Joseph needs to pass also. Kailangan niyang pagdaaran din po yung test of discouragement. And every one of us, I know some of us, is in this part. We can be discouraged anytime or every moment. Pwede po yan mangyari. And God allows those things. Genesis 37 verse 28. The Midianite traders passed by, so the brothers pulled Joseph and lifted him up of the pit and sold him to the Ishmaelites for 20 shekels of silver. And they took Joseph to Egypt. <laughs> Ang saya, di ba? Akala ni Joseph, pagkuha po sa kanya sa pit, no, no, nung inilabas na siya, akala niya exposed na siya, no, akala niya yun na eh, ito na yun. Nakalaya na siya dun sa moment of hiddenness. But take note of this, after he brings out by his brother doon sa, sa pit, he was sold to be a slave. <laughs> Ang saya, di ba? May yung pakiramdam, iniulog ka, itinago ka na. Pagkatapos kang iulog, itago. Pagkatapos nang ibibenta ka. That's why the third one is the test of discouragement. You can really sense, you can really feel Joseph. Okay? Nararamdaman mo yung feels ni Joseph. He was sold to become a slave to Egypt. So Ismailites, binenta po siya. And they went to Egypt and he become a slave there. In this, in this discouragement, the test of discouragement, discouragement there are times we feel like quitting and betrayal are present. In this test, quitting and betrayal are present. Hello, pakiramdam mo gusto mo nang umayaw. Pakiramdam mo you are betrayed. Hello, you are discouraged. 
Yan yung discouragement. Take note guys, it will only hurt us when we are betrayed by least expected. Yung mga hindi mo ine-expect na yung magbibitray sa'yo, doon ka lang masasaktan ng gusto. Hello, are you there church? Doon ka madi-discourage. Yung mga taong ine-expect mo, supposed to be dapat susuportahan ka. Supposed to be na dapat ganto, ay ganito yung ginagawa mo, ganito dapat yung 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 pakita sa iyo kasi ito yon, ganyan ganyan. Ito yung mga dapat paliwanag, but there are times they never reach at hindi nila naaabot yung mga expectation natin sa buhay. That's why there are times we really feel discouraged. Nadi-discourage tayo. Di, dapat si ganto si ganyan eh. No? And take note most of the time, the least expected, we are truly hurt when we feel na yung mga dapat na alam natin, na nakasuporta sa atin, nasa likod natin, yung mga tutulong sa atin, sometimes they, they, they are not able to do it and we become discouragement. And most of the time, yung pinaka nakakalungkot minsan, is the, the rejection of the people. There are times na re-reject pa tayo ng mga tao. Hello? And we feel this Courage. Are you there, church? Hello, are you there, church? Napo nararamdaman niyo po ba yun? There are times we feel rejected by people. Madalas nare-reject tayo. Take note of that. Ito yung pinakamasaya. In this moment, even though we are rejected, even though we feel we are betrayed, even though we feel all those kinds of ups and down emotion, roller coaster emotion, take note of that. When people rejects us, ito yung pinakamasaya, this will be one of our response unto the Lord. When people rejects us, it is an open invitation for God to seek Him. Come on, church. Are you there, church? When people reject you, it simply means there is an open invitation for God to seek Him. Hello? Kapag nire-reject ka ng tao, ibig sabihin, binubuksan ng Panginoon at lagi naman ito nakabukas, invitation for Him to come to Him. Hello? And when we don't feel, po, kung hindi natin nararamdaman yung pagtanggap, yung Diyos tatanggapin tayo. It is only God who can accept us more than anyone else. That's why God, there are times God allows discouragement for us so that we can learn that the only source of life is Him. Take note, God allows discouragement for us to learn that He is the only source of our life. Hello, are you there, church? Discouragement, again, discouragement. God allows this test so that we can learn, hello, that the source of life is the Lord alone. In testing, Sa mga test na meron po tayo, the test of discouragement, the test of hiddenness, the test of the test of, of, of service, all of those testings, testings are not for us to become mahirapan, okay? Hindi po tayo pinapahirapan. Testing doesn't make us mahirapan. God doesn't want us just to be broken, okay? Testing doesn't just shape us. Take note of that. Hindi lang tayo binabasag, hindi lang tayo sinishape ng ating Panginoon through the testing. But through testing, the Lord truly reveals kung sino talaga tayo. Through testing, the Lord truly reveals kung sino talaga tayo. Who truly we are. Yun yung pinaka-purpose why the Lord tests each one of us. When we are in the test of discouragement, we are in the test of hiddenness, we are in the test of service, ang totoo, hindi lang tayo gusto pahirapan, hindi yon, hindi yung purpose ng Panginoon, hindi niya tayo gustong mapahirapan lang. Hindi niya gusto lang ishape yung buhay natin. That's one of our, His priority, but it doesn't mean. Pero the real, true reason why the Lord he allows testing in our lives para ma-reveal ng gusto tayo. Maribil kung sino talaga tayo sa harapan ng ating Panginoon. Because that's the truth in life. Even in school, makikita mo talaga kung sino talaga yung may alam at natuto. No? Doon labang sa test. Kasi kung ano yung magiging resulta ng test natin, that will be, no po, that will be who we are. Yun talaga yon. Kasi yun yung alam natin, yun yung natutunan po nating lahat. Hello, are you there, church? That's why God allows all these tests so that we can be puri, 
pure, we can be pure before the Lord. Pinupuro tayo ng ating Panginoon hanggang sa muli niyang pagbabalik. Kaya dalangin ko po sa bawat nararanasan natin ngayon, I pray that you will continue to become true unto the Lord. Just allow the Lord. I have four tests pa po, pero I think hindi na po natin ito matatapos ngayong gabi. No? And if you are blessed because it's already time, I try my best to finish this. No po, maybe next week tapusin po natin ito. I've got four tests. But again, please read it to your home. No po, yung Genesis chapter 37 up to Genesis chapter 41 para po mauunawaan po natin yung mga pinag-uusapan po natin ngayong gabi. But tonight, let us end this to these three tests po. Again, the test of service, just for a recap. The test of service, okay? The test of service, God wants us to see. To see us that we can be trusted in our service before we are to lead. Ibig sabihin, doing everyday practical life that we have. Test of hiddenness, a test of our motives. Yan po yung recap, if we can obey in hidden, then we can serve in influence. Test of discouragement, okay? This is the moment that we are not going to quit, but keep moving even in the time of heartaches, pains, and suffering. Ang ganda po niyan. Test of discouragement. Again, I'll, I'll, I'll repeat it. Test of discouragement. This is the moment not to quit, but to keep moving even in the time of heartaches pains, and suffering. And I pray tonight that God will continue to reveal Himself through His mighty words. We will finish this po next week and I hope that you will be there kasi meron pa po tayong fourth test na God allows in our lives so that we will become pure as gold sa paglilingkod natin sa ating Panginoon. And I hope and I pray that you are blessed through the word of the living God. Let us come and worship the Lord tonight. As we pray, I know some of you, maaring yung iba po sa inyo, yan yung pinagdaraanan, you are hidden. So, let's just sing this song and just tell it to the Lord. Before we end, uh, sa gabi pong ito, let's just sing this song because I know some of you, maaring yung iba po sa inyo, God is uplifting you today. Hindi ko po alam yung nararanasan nyo, hindi ko po alam yung pinagdaraanan nyo, but one thing I'm sure, I could really sense that the Lord is uplifting you. God, the church is empowered tonight by His Word. Kaya sa gabi pong ito, dalangin ko na patuloy, na tayo po'y magpatuloy at maglingkod sa ating Panginoon. So sing, Huwag kang bibigay, aayaw magsasawa, huwag kang mapapagod, Lalayo mang hihina Gagamitin ka pa ng Diyos Mahal ka niyang lubos Huwag kang bibigay Aayaw magsasawa Huwag kang mapapagod Lalayo mang hihina Gagamitin ka pa ng Diyos Gagamitin ka pa ng Diyos Mahal ka niyang lubos Huwag kang bibigay Aayang magsasawa Huwag kang mapapagod Lalayo manghihina Gagamitin ka pa ng Kataon, huwag kang bibigay, aayang magsasawa, huwag kang mapapagod, lalayo mang hihina. Gagamitin ka pa ng Diyos, mahal ka niyang lubos. Panginoon, sa gabi pong ito, Simpleng simple po yung mga salita mo but I could really sense in my spirit that many of us has been lifted from this burden for you are the lifter of our heads holy god salamat po you have refreshed us you have encouraged us you have empowered us to step 
forward, to keep moving forward sa mga nais mo po sa aming mga buhay. Purihin ka, Panginoon, dahil naniniwala po kami, damang-dama po namin, ramdam na ramdam po namin, sa kalob-looban po namin, na hindi ka nagkamali sa pagkakatawag mo po sa amin. Hindi ka nagkamali sa bawat araw na ginagawa po namin sa paglilingkod namin sa iyo. At ikaw yung Diyos na tapat sa aming mga buhay. Tonight, we honor you, Jesus Christ, for your mighty move. Tonight, we honor you and respect you, God, for your mighty words that is really full upon our hearts and upon our spirit. Salamat po, Panginoon. Salamat po, God. I could really sense those tears are tears of joy. Okay? Yung mga luha na pumapatak po that I'm seeing right now is a tear of affirmation of the Lord. Yes, God affirms you. Yes, the Lord affirms you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Salamat po, Panginoon. We honor you, we worship you, and we respect you tonight. We give you glory, we give you worship. In Jesus' name, amen and amen and amen and amen. To God be the glory po. Hallelujah. Let's just keep serving the Lord. At sa gabi pong ito, yes, I can really sense the mighty move of the Holy Spirit sa mga nanonood po. Yung pigilan niyo, sarili niyo po. That's the mighty move of the living God. I saw some tears falls into your eyes and that is a tears. Hindi yan luha ng lungkot, but it is a tears of affirmation. You could really sense tonight that God really affirms you. But anyway, I know that you are all blessed. Let us bring back the glory unto the Lord. Sama-sama po natin itas ang ating mga kamay. And let us all shout, all glory, all honor, all power, all praises, all worship, and all thanksgiving belongs to Jesus Christ. And everybody says, Amen and Amen and Amen. God bless you everyone. Happy New Year and Merry Christmas in advance. To God be the glory. Please follow us in our socials, social media account. See this.